Hello, uh, my name is William Meyer, and I did my. I'm going to be doing my video presentation on response two, um, which is the communication skills assessment. Um, this is about my journey of trying to get a little bit better with uh, transactional communication, just communication in general when talking to other people. Um, yep was a shy kid, never outspoken. Um, I'm probably never going to go out of my way to talk to people. Um, but it, and it never really made sense to me why I was like that. Um, but since, because my dad being a sales, a salesman, um, very outspoken, high energy, um, actually, my whole family on that side is all salesmen, so everyone loves to talk. Um, but I didn't. And uh, it wasn't until my when I was younger, my dad told me that he wasn't like that either. He would be scared to go get some, buy something from the gas station, talk to the cashier. So um, he was never the most outspoken person e either, but he taught me to start putting myself into situations that forced that forced me to communicate so as I grew up I started to do that um, and I even grow grew up and now I'm a salesman just like him uh, I my job is talking uh, my communication skills are not are not the best but they're growing every day and uh, because I have to rely on them every single day if I want a paycheck um, so it's, it's since since my job is just a full day of communication back and forth it's really taught me to grow and the, uh, there's still some things that I could work on uh, as you can see sometimes I stumble a lot um, but I mainly I'll stumble also when trying to think of follow-up questions so like if a customer's talking to me and they ask me something and they're telling their they give me an answer after one of my questions I have trouble with following up with another question to try to keep the conversation going. Sometimes my my conversations stall out. So I need to figure out how to get better at those types of things when I'm when I'm communicating. Um one thing I am I believe good at is Nonverbal communication, uh, so ma maintaining eye contact, uh, using subtle clues to try and, and just let the person know that, hey, I'm listening and what you're talking about is important to me. Um, and so that could be anything from head nods, smiling, you know, just, just being present, really, and listening. And, um, yeah, it's just nonverbal communication is just a great way to let the person know that you're receiving the messages, but it can also be used when you're sending messages. Um, for example, uh, just, just hand motions, trying to use hand motions, different physical cues to exemplify the message that you're trying to, to get out there. Um, it's... As a salesman, it also helps me stay more involved in the conversation and and let the customer know that I'm 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 present and I'm just being animated um, is is key. And over the years, I've noticed that the more animated I am with nonverbal communication, the more interested the customer is. Um, and one thing that is nonverbal that means a lot, not only in my business, but in all forms of business is the handshake. Um, it, you wouldn't think it means that much, but a handshake will tell, tell us a lot about a person. Um, and guys, you can, you can, vouch for me on this a handshake needs to be firm and you need to look the person in the eye and say your name loud and clear um, if 
if I get a weak handshake and maybe eyes looking down while they're shaking my hand, I'm already judging a person's character based off that. And that's not fair, but that's just some nonverbal communication that I think is pivotal, especially when it comes to uh, first impressions. Um, yeah, so one weakness I'm starting to try to get better, especially outside of work. Um, meeting people outside of work, I'm kind of shy. I have problems meeting new friends. I've had the same group of friends since I was a kid. Um, so I have trouble meeting new people outside of work. But for some reason, when it comes to work, I'm able to flip the switch and um, some things that may have shut me down in the past outside of work. When I'm in work, I, I, I stay engaged and I'm, I'm really present with the person I'm communicating with. And um, so, yeah, so that's just a little bit of a background of of how I how I use communication in my daily life and kind of just a little uh, look back on my journey when it comes to transactional communication as a whole. Um, two questions that I'd like to ask you guys um, and girls. Uh, for the people that consider themselves shy, like, like I would, uh, what are ways you've been able to combat that? Um, whether it be, like I said, like putting myself in tougher situations for me, um, or if there, if there's anything else that anyone does. And has anyone else picked a field that has pulled them out of their comfort zone? Um, and whether, and even if that comfort zone isn't even communication, it's some other type of comfort zone. And... Uh, yeah, so that is, that is all. I appreciate the time and everybody have a great day.